Hi everyone, welcome back to ASFC Chemistry and what I'm going to go through with you now is a little bit about electrophilic addition which is one of the mechanisms you need on the year one OCRA specification. So what am I looking at to begin with? Well first thing is consider what your reactants are. Now reactants are an organic molecule with an alkene functional group so with an unsaturated bond here, lots of electron density there and I've also got a molecule, a very small molecule with a dipole. Can put the dipole in in fact there we go and you can see that this molecule is angled next to the alkene like so because they're going to react in a mechanism now the mechanism is called electrophilic addition because we are going to add the electrophile to the organic molecule so this is our electrophile just here it's an electrophile because it's got a partially positive charge as part of its structure Sometimes electrophiles can have fully positive charges, but we don't see those until the year two specification. So first thing is, I need to show how they're going to start reacting with each other. And I do so with a curly arrow. Now the curly arrow always has to start at a pair of electrons, because the curly arrow shows the movement of a pair of electrons. And so I'm going to start it here, and the pair of electrons from this double bond just here, are going to reach out to this hydrogen and one of these two carbons is going to form a bond with that. Now this hydrogen no longer needs this bond to the bromine and so since the bromine is withdrawing the pair of electrons from this bond anyway, we decide to give the bromine those electrons like so. So what happens next then? Well we've got to decide which of these two carbons is going to end up bonded to the hydrogen and which of these two carbons is actually going to now have only three bonds and a positive charge. I'm going to make this carbon in the middle the one that becomes the carbon with the positive charge. The reason is because if this carbon becomes the carbon with the positive charge, let's call it a carbocation, then it's going to be classed as a secondary carbocation because this carbon is bonded itself to two other carbon containing groups. And so this carbon is going to be more stable as the carbocation. This carbon is only bonded to one other carbon group. And so this carbon here would be less stable as the carbocation. So I'm going to make this one the carbon with the positive charge. So just down here, I'm going to draw that now, like so. So I've got this part of the molecule that was there before, there it is. I've got this hydrogen just here. And this CH2 is now going to be a CH3 because it's going to now be bonded to this hydrogen. There we go. What happens next? Well, as mentioned, this is a carbocation now. It's a secondary carbocation, in fact. And we've got our bromine, which is nearby with a negative charge and a lone pair. Now these two, negative and positive, are going to attract to each other and specifically this lone pair from the bromine, it does have three other lone pairs but we don't show them all, this is going to attack this carbon just here like that, so curly arrow straight to the carbon, nice and clear, going to the carbon, not to the positive charge, not to the space next to it, from the lone pair to the carbon it's going to form a bond here, it's going to provide both of these electrons and make a bond. And so what we make over here, if we compare this structure to what we started with, we now have a bromine in the middle of the chain. We've completely lost the double bond, we've now got a fully saturated molecule. And we've actually got a secondary bromoalkane. So it's a secondary halogen alkane. The atom economy for this reaction is 100% because they only have one product and a reminder that the name of this mechanism is electrophilic addition. I hope that clears up any of the questions you have about which carbon is going to be chosen out of a propene reaction for instance. Please make sure you watch the rest of the videos on the playlist and make any suggestions you can via Twitter at ASFC underscore chemistry for anything specific that you want me to go through. Otherwise and until then, happy revising.